dividing by a fraction. Now, let's look at a few examples. First of all, I want to divide, let's say, 1 by a half, 1 divided by a half. I could have written it like this, 1 divided by a half. I could have written it like 1 over a half. I could put a bracket over the half. But then, what does that give me? First of all, when I say 1 divided by a half, I'm asking how many halves are there in 1? Alright? Let's backtrack a little. If I was to divide, let's say 6 by 2. What is 6 divided by 2? Same as this, 6 divided by 2. What I would be saying is how many 2's are there in 6? If I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 objects, I would be asking how many groups of 2 are there in 6? So I have 1 group of 2, 2 groups of 2, 3 groups of 2. So the answer would be 3. Alright? Let's go back to our fraction. See what this is all about. Let me erase this. Alright. Going back to our fraction. What is 1 divided by a half? In this case, what I'm really saying is that there is one object let's say it's a circle how many halves are there in one how many of the denominator are there in the numerator I have one object how many halves can I get out of it let's see Ah, what I'm seeing here is that there is one half over here and a second half over here, All right? All right, this properly. So there are two halves. Let me erase what I wrote over here and write it properly. Two, good. That's a good two. Now there are two halves. So there are two halves in one. So another way I could look at it without drawing is to say one. This is one multiplied by the reciprocal of the denominator. Two divided by one. So it's one. Um, I'll have a whole number here and a fraction here. Let me turn both of them into fractions. 1 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 1. So here, 1 times 2 is 2. Below, 1 times 1 is 1. But 2 divided by 1 is the same as 2. Alright? So, 1 divided by a half is 2. Because there are 2 halves in 1. Let's look at another example. Let me erase this. Look at another example. Suppose I say I want to find out what is Five divided by one third. Okay. What is five divided by one third? Another way I could write this 
is 5 over 1 third. What is that? Well, just as a while ago, I could say 5 multiplied by the reciprocal of 1 third. Instead of 1 over 3, I now have 3 over 1. I could turn the 5 into 5 over 1. Then what I would have is up top is 5 trees, 15, and the answer would be 15. Now, what that means is that I have 5 whole objects. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm saying five divided by a third means how many thirds are there in five? I want some thirds. I have I don't want this line to be that thick. Okay, I have this divided into thirds, this one into thirds, thirds, so I have three thirds in each, I have three thirds here, and I have three thirds here. Alright? So, How many thirds are there in five? I have five whole objects, five holes, and I have thirds into each. How many thirds do I get? One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six thirds so far, seven, eight, nine thirds, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 thirds. I have a total of 15 thirds. So, it's like saying I have a 5 gallon bottle. How many times would I have to fill a 1 third gallon bottle and throw in there? It would be 15 of them. Alright, so that's 5 divided by 1 third, and that gives 15, because there are 15 thirds in 5. Let's look at another example. Let me get rid of these first. Now, suppose I say uh, 1, I want 1, 1 divided by a quarter. Now, by the same principle, I'm asking how many quarters are there in one? Let's look at this. For example, let's say this was a one gallon. No, this looks more like one gallon. This is a one gallon bottle. And I have a quarter gallon cup. I would have to fill it four times to fill this bottle. All right? So in that case, there are four quarter gallons into a whole gallon. A while ago, we looked at um, five divided by, um, what was it, half, one third. Let's reduce this to one third gallon. If this is a five gallon bottle, and this is a one-third gallon bottle. 
then I would have to fill this and throw into this 15 times in order to fill it. So the first I would have one third gallon, the second two third gallon, the third time I throw in it four third gallon, um, three third gallon which is one gallon. Then another three time one two three more times would give me two gallons. Then throw, fill and throw, fill and throw three more times. That would give me three gallons. Then I do it again three more times, four gallons and another three times, five gallons. So I made, I would have to throw a total of 15 of this one third gallon into this five gallon to fill it. All right. If I have, <coughs> this looks like a half gallon. Let me make it a little bigger. A half gallon. How many times would I have to throw half gallon into a five gallon to fill it? Let's see. Half. I fill it and throw one time, that's a half. Throw it again two times, that's one gallon. Three times, this one and a half, four times, that would be two gallons. Five times, that would be two and a half, six times. That would be three gallons. Then a seventh time, three and a half, and eighth time, that's four gallons. Nine times would be four and a half gallons. Five times would be five gallons. Let's look at we broke off from where we were, but let's look at this because I saw the half gallon and the five gallon. Five divided by half. So we wanted one divided by a quarter, but I got excited by looking at the five divided by half. Let's see the five divided by half meanwhile and come back to this later. 5 divided by half. How many half gallon bottle can fill a 5 gallon? It would be the same as saying that 5 over half there are 10 halves in 5. So if I have 5 whole 1 2 3 4, 5, and I say half of this, half this, half this, half this, half this, uh, they should all be of the same size. This one is a little big. Let me reduce the size of this one to make it look like the others. get rid of it and do it again good all right so I have five hole and I want to see how many halves I got out of them. What I have here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten halves. So five divided by half is ten. Same like five by two. Okay. 
back to the one divided by a quarter which um, would be simpler let me erase these and go back to the one divided by a quarter I could take this let me make it a little larger let me get rid of it and use another object another circle here I have one I want some quarters for equal parts good I have my four quarters when I say one my, when I say one divided by a quarter the question I'm asking is how many quarters are there in one I am seeing one, two, three, four quarters. So one divided by a quarter is four. It's the same as one multiplied by, instead of one over four, is four over one. But I mean, one over one times four over one. So instead of one divided by one over four, I'm saying one multiplied by four over one. So one by four. So it seems like when you have a number divided by a quarter, you take the numerator, multiply it by, and the inverse, there the reciprocal of the denominator. Now, let's look at this, see what would happen in this case. Let me keep my big circle here let me get rid of these other circles suppose I say remove this what is half divided by a quarter now what is half divided by a quarter all right half divided by a quarter in other words, what I am saying is how many quarters are there in half? From what uh, we did a little earlier, you know that this is the same as half multiplied by 4 over 1. Instead of saying 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 4, I'm saying 1 over 2 multiplied by 4 over 1. So here I'm saying 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 4, 2, so I get 2. But let's look at the diagram. Half divided by a quarter. Let me take my half. So over here I have 1 half and over here I have 2 halves. How many quarters are there in half? Let's see. I have 4 quarters. All right, or let me use another circle to show them separate. I have this big circle and I quarter this one. Quarter, four quarters. Now, this here is a quarter. But then this is another quarter. And this here looks like this half over here. All of this looks like all of this. So you notice I have one, two quarters in half. So the answer is two. Half divided by a quarter is two because there are one, two quarters in a half. All right? Two quarters are in a half. So that's the answer there. There are two quarters in a half. So you get the idea then. Alright. So half divided by a quarter. I have my half here. I have four four quarters here. I'm seeing how many quarters are there in one half. So I count one down here, 
and 2 the second one up here I could have also said this half I quarter this let me quarter this there are quarters but I'm concentrating on what's happening over here I have one quarter two quarter three quarter four quarters now this side all of this is half how many quarters do I see I have one I have two so there are two quarters in a half so half divided by a quarter is two half over a quarter is two I could do this half divided by a quarter half up here the, the, the numerator remains 1 over 2 multiply by this the denominator is 1 over 4 but I multiply by the reciprocal of 1 over 4 which is 4 over 1 so cancel down I could say 1 4 is 4 up top 2 1 2 down the bottom 2 into 2 1 2 into 4 2 there are 2 2's in 4 so again the answer is 2 so that's a look at dividing by a fraction dividing a whole number by a fraction and dividing a fraction by a fraction